Erotic aciduria is a genetic disorder, and the major feature of this disease is the inability to convert erotic acid to uridine monophosphate due to the defect in uridine monophosphate synthase. So, let's discuss the pathogenesis of this disorder in details. I am on a curiosity voyage, and I need my paddles to travel. These books, these books are my paddles. Five at a time. Are you shitting me? Excuse me? What the hell is this? Mr. Anderson! As we know, when we consume proteins, they are degraded to amino acids. And one of the amino acids is L-glutamate. Once L-glutamate in comes to the blood, we convert L-glutamate to carbomyl phosphate, then to N-carbomyl L-aspartate, after this to dehydroerotic acid and then to erotic acid. To convert erotic acid, we require a specific enzyme called UMP synthase. This enzyme provides conversion of erotic acid to uridine monophosphate. Uridine monophosphate we use in pyrimidine biosynthesis. And pyrimidines we need to produce DNA and RNA molecules. And we know that we need DNA and RNA molecules for cellular replication, which determines the normal growth of organism and normal neurological and physical development. And one of those cells that require DNA and RNA molecules are its blood cells. More precisely, we need DNA and RNA molecules to produce red blood cell cytoskeleton. After this, we produce hemoglobin molecules and when we combine red blood cell cytoskeleton and hemoglobin, we get normal red blood cells. But in erotic aciduria, mutation occurs, which disrupts the function of UMP synthase. Without UMP synthase, we cannot convert erotic acid to uridine monophosphate. I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about what this! What do you feel good about anything? So, erotic acid begin to progressively accumulate in the blood. And the only way how we can excrete erotic acid from the organism is by urine. So, with increase in erotic acid concentration in the blood, the excretion of erotic acid by the urine increase. And increase in erotic acid concentration in the urine we call erotic aciduria, which is the signature feature of this disease. Demo dogs? Demogorgon, dogs, gamma dogs. It's like a compound. It's like, it's like a play on words, you know? Okay. Like it. But there is a second problem. Without UMP synthase, we cannot make uridine monophosphate. And without uridine monophosphate, pyrimidine biosynthesis decreases, and thereby DNA and RNA production decreases. This decrease in DNA and RNA production cellular replication decrease, which affects growth of organism, so child will have failure to thrive, and also it affects neurological and physical development, which will cause physical and mental retardation. But it's not all. As we see, we need DNA and RNA molecules for production of red blood cell cytoskeleton. With decrease in DNA and RNA production, the production of materials from which we build cytoskeleton decrease, but hemoglobin production remains normal. So, how our organism adapts? In these circumstances, we cannot produce three equal red blood cells simply because there is not enough material to make cytoskeleton for all of them. Do you understand what he's talking about? No. Guys, come on, just think about it. So, instead, Organism prefers to use all available cytoskeleton materials to make two huge red blood cells and pack inside them as much hemoglobin as possible. Such huge red blood cells we call megaloblasts. But as we see, the total quantity of red blood cells decrease. And with decreasing total amount of red blood cells, total hemoglobin concentration decreases. And this state we call anemia. Look, look, look. Cool, right? No? Okay, but um, so we... So, even if red blood cells will have more hemoglobin inside them, 
it cannot compensate decrease in the total quantity. Also, we can see that in this case there is more hemoglobin per one red blood cell, and we can determine this by increasing color index. Anemia with increased color index we call hyperchromic anemia. There is a clinical case of a patient with erotic aciduria, and as we see, erotic aciduria is an extremely rare disease. So in this case, it is 17-year-old girl. This girl had moderate anemia, and we can see that when she was 6-year-old, she had hemoglobin 109, but when she was 10 years old, her hemoglobin level was 68, which is severe anemia. In addition to this, she has beta thalassemia, and we can see that some features are caused by thalassemia. For example, on bone marrow, they find out hypochromic microcytic anemia, and it's a signature feature of thalassemia. But in addition to this, she has megaloblastic bone marrow, which is atypical for thalassemia. And we know that megaloblastic hematopoiesis or megaloblastic anemia most commonly caused by folate deficiency or B12 deficiency. But in her case, folate and B12 levels were normal, which is highly unusual for a patient with megaloblastic maturation and megaloblastic changes. So based on megaloblastic bone marrow with normal folate and B12 levels, erotic aciduria was suspected. Demodogs. I'm sorry, what? I said, uh, demodogs. Like Demogorgon and dogs, like you put them together, it sounds pretty badass. How is this important right now? It's not, I'm sorry. In addition to this, patient had failure to thrive, low weight and microcephaly. Also, patient had episodes of generalized tonic-clonic seizures, which most probably were caused by developmental abnormalities in central neural system. All of these symptoms can be caused by erotic aciduria. So, how to verify diagnosis? The most precise method is to find the mutation that caused defect in UMP synthase, and in this case, mutation was present. And urine analysis shows crystal urea and significant increase in excretion of erotic acid. Based on these findings, the diagnosis of erotic aciduria was made. Patient was started on uridine triacetate and as we can see, treatment went well. So let's summarize. Erotic aciduria caused by autosomal recessive mutation. The symptoms develop due to the decrease in DNA and RNA synthesis. Typically, it's failure to thrive, developmental delay, and megaloblastic anemia with normal folate and B12 levels. And erotic aciduria do not cause elevation of blood ammonia level. Why it's important? Because we have the second pathology that can cause increase in erotic acid level in the urine. It's ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency. So this feature helps us in differential diagnosis. The signature feature of this disorder is increased erotic acid level in the urine. And the treatment is uridine monophosphate or uridine triacetate which help us to bypass mutated enzyme. So, how treatment works? What are you doing? Thinking. With vodka. It's a central nervous system depressant, so yes, with vodka. Uridine triacetate is a product of uridine, which means that this drug will be converted into uridine in the body. After this, Exogenous uridine is undergo phosphorylation to UMP, which then can enter into the pyrimidine pathway. First of all, by providing an external source of uridine, uridine triacetate bypasses the defective step in pyrimidine biosynthesis. And in addition to this, because uridine triacetate causes increase in uridine monophosphate, the demand for uridine monophosphate production decreases which will cause decrease in formation of erotic acid. So, uridine triacetate help us to correct clinical symptoms, and also it significantly lowers erotic acid level. You didn't know that? Seriously? 
Am I done here? Son of a bitch. You know, you really no help at all. You know that? Hey, language. 